Well, welcome back. Hopefully you're doing well. We are now playing the AMX M454 as we're following on from yesterday's video where we played the E5 without gold and without food. So we are now playing the new kind of king of the heavy tanks, which sounds really weird because this thing used to be absolutely awful in comparison uh, to a few patches ago. Uh, we are playing this, so just to show you that it is the standard rounds, 250 pen, not the premium rounds, and obviously we are using food. Uh, we're not using food, sorry. Lovely. Put one into the T30 there. So, yeah, I'm enjoying this little experiment. And uh, hopefully you are too, as we are preparing to uh, begin our next season of the grind with something a little bit different. Uh, that Conqueror is... Uh, he might be okay. Making sure that we don't get shot at by that guy. If we can, I want to try and get a Capola shot into this guy. Uh, not quite. We just need to be aware to the right. Um, now I am using gold, uh, sorry, gold, uh, bond. Uh, we are using the bond uh, HP and we're also using vents and a rammer. So we are using bond everything, but I'm not demounting that. Like, <laughs> it would cost me like 600, 600 bonds just to demount it. So it's not really worth it. Not, not just to make a video on it. Um, and I also then have Bond Turbo on the other slot, so yeah, I can't really demount them, unfortunately. But, oh well. We will, uh... I mean, yes, it makes a difference, but not that much, like... I mean, sure, it's basically like I'm using food, almost, right? With vents. Unfortunately, we just have to be patient here. If we get too uh, impatient, we're just going to die. And that is not very good. You know, no one likes dying. Life lessons with Max. Nobody enjoys dying. I mean, have you ever asked a dead person if they enjoyed it? Did they reply? No. Right, so let's go around this side and see if we can make some moves over this way. Um... I kind of want to conquer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, you're kind of taking up the entire path. I won't lie. You are kind of in the way. Kill this. Uh, okay, good. don't know if I'll be able to shoot this guy or not. I don't think so. There is going to be the problem of uh, the T-30 pushing all the way around. I mean, this guy is now... Now kind of stuck here. The problem is that I don't have anyone that can uh, shoot the people behind. I mean, I have the STRV at the very back, but that is not really... Nice. Very good. We need to go forwards, because we need to avoid that guy. Very good. He's now dead. Really, really good. And we now need to be careful of the T-30. That is our next biggest threat. Uh, this is going to hurt. Oh, he missed, okay. Mino's coming all the way through. Don't you just enjoy bouncing off the lower plates? 
It's always good fun. I cannot really see this T30, and that is going to be a problem. Okay, not as big as a problem as this. Goodness sake, man. Shot. That was a really bad shot. <laughs> Come on. It's a joke. There you go, one more in. Nothing we can do. I mean, we would have penned the lower play at the E75, but let's be honest, that should have penned even without gold. Like, that's stupid that that doesn't pen. That's not even like a low pen issue, that's just a stupid tank design issue. Like, a lower plate should never be that thick. The same as my lower plate should never be that thick. Well, we get 3.7k and 6k blocked. Because <laughs> my lower plate is great. Um, so... Yeah, look, critical damage. I mean, that one hit my track, so... But look, lower plate, no. No hit. Lower plate, no. Lower plate, goes above. Lower plate, no. <laughs> uh, don't you just love the lower plate? I mean, that one was good. I blocked it with my gun. We outplayed the uh, the 50T really well, actually. The Camp Panzer. Like, look, even with heat, you need to hit down here. If you don't hit all the way down here, you don't pen. It's really, really stupid. Like, this entire lower plate should just be a pen instantly. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, so many bounces. And then what do we get? Lower plate, no pen. <laughs> this one was a dumb shot. Uh, that one goes high. That one goes high. We're trying to go for the lower plate, but no. <laughs> this is just... I don't even know. Not pe not pierced. Okay. But it it just needs this bit to be a lower plate and just make it, I don't know, like... Even if this this is like 200 millimeters thick, when it's like effective, right? So like you'd need to make it like 100 or something. Because that is really well sloped at the bottom. But then it would just be so much nicer to play against. Um, because you, you just have to aim for the cupolas at the moment and that's it. Like it's kind of pointless going for lower plate unless it's directly in front of you and then you can actually hit it. Uh, anyway, next game. So, we are now on Redshear, and there is two artillery, which is going to be a slight issue for us. Unlucky uh, that we don't get the snap there, but... Ooh, spotting. Nice. Lovely bit of spotting early on in the game. Uh, yes, there is two artillery, which is going to cause us a few issues. Um, we may be able to get a shot on this guy. Does he turn... Like, does he turn too much? He does! Okay, game. Wait. <sighs> what is this RNG force field this man has? There we go. Okay, he actually has like an RNG force field. What is going on? <laughs> Not even the E100 penned. Now he's angling well. Might as well try it, right? 279 going in, thinking that he is completely broken at tier 10, but he is not. Okay, well. There is a reason why I haven't gone where that 279 is, and that is because there is two artillery, and they can both shoot uh, directly where that 279 is. Well, we got the tracking on him as well, which is good. And some tracking and damage at the same time. 
But like, this guy's just gonna get farmed by artillery now. And they may even overpeak. I don't know. It looks like they are. To try and get rid of him. If this guy goes forwards again, I wanna try and track him. Because he's used his repair kit. Well, I don't actually know. Was that the guy that used his repair kit? No, it wasn't. Because I hit him and the 279 hit him, so that's not the right guy. I mean, maybe he's user pack, who knows? Finished the 277 off, and we're going to back off now. So the only thing that can hit us is artillery. While we go for the reload, we can then go and... Ooh, hello. That was actually not as easy as I thought. I thought that this guy was uh, exposing a lot more of his tank, but he wasn't. So I'll tell you what we can do then, is... Go this way, and use this side, because uh, I don't think he's going to continue. Let's run off. <laughs> Bye! Bye, S7! We had fun. How's the other side of the map doing? Not great. <laughs> Okay, do we go forwards now and try to do this? I think that we do. We'll ask for help. We'll push forwards. Let us begin. Wonderful first shot into that. He's used his repair kit now. I mean, obviously he's had more than enough time to uh, get that back off cooldown. Go forwards. Easy shot into the side. Obviously, we know that he has the much longer reload than us. We're, we're going to put one into this Capoda in a second. Very good. And then we just reload. He just fired, so we have all the time in the world to aim this shot at the lower plate. No, we're not going to go for the lower plate. We'll go for the Capoda instead. Maybe not. Oh, well. What we should have done there is just go forwards and uh, go through his track. That's what we should have done. Uh, but yeah, it's 15-0. What do you expect? Not much we can do about that. <sighs> Apply! Get all my crew skills. So this guy is now in the fourth skill. And we'll take smooth ride now. Kind of impressive. We don't we didn't even have smooth ride yet. So, after two games, we are on 3.6k. Uh, obviously, this is a slightly better tank than E100. Um, I say slightly. It's quite a bit better, actually. Um, this is probably like... This is the most versatile heavy tank in the game at the moment. Even, like, better than the Chieftain. It's for randoms, okay? Before everyone starts crying about that. Um, for randoms, this thing farms so much damage in comparison to the Chief. It's unreal. Like, this thing is actually nicer to play than the 279 Chieftain anything. Um, this is the actual, like, versatile god at the moment for heavy tank. Especially if you just fire full gold, like... It's unreal. Uh, but yeah, 3.6 after two games. Let's see if we can maybe get that up to 4k. We'd need a good game, but we'll see. Well, we're now on Ghost Town. And you know what? I might as well talk about the equipment now that there's been quite a few minutes. So all the people that haven't watched up until now are never going to know about it. Um, you don't need V-Stab at all on this tank. This tank does not need V-Stab. It is without a doubt 100% not worth it to use a V-Stab on this tank. Um, you're just wasting that slot com entirely. I'm sure this guy's enjoying himself. What do you think? <laughs> very quick shot into that, which is very good for us. We can try and hide the Capola, very good. Might be able to kill this guy in a second. Not really. Very good shot there. We have three seconds. Lovely. We're getting very lucky with RNG, but we're also aiming really well, to be fair. This is the T30 friend. Very nice. 
Can we actually overmatch that or not? I can't remember if you can overmatch this. Might be. I'm not sure. It looked green, like, all the way through, so I'm not sure. Is this 705A? Quick shot into that. But yeah, as you can see, you definitely don't need V-Stab. Like, you use Vents, Rammer, and HP, or you can use HP Turbo Rammer, um, or even Vents Turbo... Rammer? Yep, that's the one. Um, but yeah, you you definitely uh, don't need a stab on this. It just depends on uh, if you want to use vents or not. That's really what it's down to. I mean, we're using HP vents rammer at the moment, and we have been for all these games. But um, if you want to play it in like onslaught, then obviously HP turbo rammer is the best. Well, now we're just gonna have to wait a little bit while uh, we find out what's going on. Because the, obviously the 705A is going to still be there, which is going to be a problem for us. I will go for the uh, the kill or the shot here in a second. Very nice. We waited until we went all the way back down and then we got a nice shot on Toon. Very, very good. There is a 705A behind us. I'm aware of it. That's a little bit unlucky. Okay, well... What on earth is this 705A doing? You gonna track him again? Okay. Maybe we put one into him. I don't know. Run away. See you later. Go back to his T30s. T30s probably pushing. Uh, no one's there to spot him if he does, so... I reckon that he uh, is probably pushing up a little bit. No, he's not. Okay, then. In that case... Can we get a shot on this guy? Nope. Is there anyone here? No. Okay. Time to push. Time to be more aggressive. Let's see if this T30 has gone all the way back to here. I mean, he hasn't. Where is Mr. T30? I mean, I'm guessing he's around here then. Did just fire? I don't even know if this guy just fired. I don't think he did. No, he, well, maybe he did. He's using the small gun, so it's kind of hard to tell. We go down here. We're going to put one into this light tank in a second. Lovely. And now we can move around to hopefully deal with this one to one B. Um, there's no point of us going uh, to the right here. We might as well go to the left and then see if we can shoot this one to one B. We also then hide ourselves from the uh, the back a little bit more. Lovely. And we're going to continue. We want to get as much damage as we can. Ah, that's unlucky. This guy does have 350 heat, so uh, it's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with him. That's all good. Where is... I mean, the Udes is around here somewhere. That's fine. I'll give him a little bit more damage. Like, I don't mind. If he wants to shoot me. He doesn't, apparently. And everyone's dead. 5.9k. Without gold. Without food. Very good. And I can apply that. Lovely. Very, very nice. So, the end of that, 5.9k, 101k X, uh, XP, um, credits gained as well, which is very nice.
Like, exactly the same thing as I said in the last video. If you're using your brain, like, it's only one or two shots of damage difference. Because what you need to, what you need to do, when you're firing no gold, instead of going for the kind of, the play style that someone would play with gold, you need to play a little bit differently and a little bit more intelligently. Right? It's like a lot of those shots where, um... Like, if I had gold on that 60 TP in the second game, at the end there, what I needed to do was go forwards and shoot into the track, and then I would have got the the, uh, the pen. Whereas if I had, you know, fired gold, I probably would have gone through the lower plate, I could have gone through the upper plate, could have done whatever. It's just about those situations and learning from them. And then you can play exactly the same as if you were firing gold. As I said, though, it is about one or two shots difference per game. Or overall for your average damage um, if you don't fire any gold um, because everything balances out itself anyway and the, the this is not a not a tank that has super high standard pen this is like one of the lowest ones the exact same thing for the 100 yeah i don't know this is very very nice 4.4k yes sure the tank is really really good um but doesn't make it doesn't make any difference like it's it's uh, still without gold and still without food so I mean, yeah, sure, I was using full Bond stuff, but whatever. So as always, if you did enjoy, let me know in the comments down below for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.